like so I've been dragged into something here. Gotta explain a few things. So I recently painted the fence. You were like, what the hell? Who gives a shit about painting the fence? Recently painted the fence, really, really nice. Whilst painting the fence, I took off the bird uh, table. Pigeons gutted. Left it down in the corner. You can see this video, look, it's all wet and damp and down there. Trying to get a bit of seed. The bird table was a little bit rotten, so I didn't want to put it back up. So MVP was like, we're going to get a new one. She went on B&Q, 30 quid, I said no. Okay, 20 quid, I said no. So in the end, we kind of bashed heads, come to an agreement. I'm going to make the actual house out of um, pallets, because um, MVP loves pallets. I once built a skate park out of pallets, so uh, it kind of makes sense. And with that 30 quid that she had, to buy the actual house, she has bought some random stuff. So here we go, let me put this mug down here. What we've got here is two uh, bird feeders, B&M haul, two for a fiver, right, they're cool. They can hang on it somewhere. I decided to get this little bench, six quid. It needs painting up, but, um, so there's gonna be a bench hanging on this uh, monstrosity that I'm gonna create. MVP got, um, what the hell is this? Picnic table feeder with umbrella. There is a picture of a squirrel on there. Don't think we get squirrels, but um, never know. Never know. And a teacup bird feeder. So there's a teacup on a plate that hangs off the um, monstrosity that I'm going to create. So uh, her job was obviously to get this for 30 quid and to do a bit of painting on some of these bits. My job is to go get some pallets, take them apart, and see what I can create. My DIY skills, four out of ten on a good day. <laughs> um, so that is my... Um... Got to mention the paint for £8. Oh, that was it, wasn't it? Yeah. So this was 22 So yeah, so bird feeders, all this stuff here, come to £22, and there's eight quid left over on paint. So that was the nice, um, idea. Nice sage green. Yeah, sage green. There is some brown as well, left over from another time, but yeah. Cool. Oh, and gloss white, but that was left over from when I had to do the um, gas box out the front, so that don't count. Look at that, that is incredible. So whilst waiting for the paint to dry, I come to this spot, look at it. I love a good ruins. Now that is a big tree. Look at the size of that. My goodness. MVP wanted a birdhouse like that. A little bit overkill. You'd fit swans in there. Look at the size of it, absolute beast.
Alexa. Are birds scared of any colour? Here's something I found on stuflochat.com. Experts who study the life of birds found that many birds are frightened by white colour. Why the fuck did I do the roof wall? <laughs> Get on, Magpie. Get in there. You know you want to. Yes! Grace, we've got a Magpie. We've got a bloody Magpie. So, yeah, that is the final design that we come up with. I made the actual main structure out of pallets. Two little bird feeders hanging on the side. You got the little uh, chair swinging from the bottom. And then on the other side, you got the little picnic bench with the umbrella. She thinks it'd be for squirrels, but I don't think we'll get squirrels. The little uh, house martins will use it. And then you got the little teacup and saucer hanging from the fence as well. Just in case they want to sort of go the other side. What a bloody success that was. So yeah, we got magpie, cold pigeons. House Martins are a little bit scared at the moment, but uh, did spot a robin just now. Absolute beauty. I reckon we get a few uh, seagulls come in, a couple eagles and stuff. Each time I see a new bird, I'm going to look in my book, tick it off the list and all that good stuff. So uh, bye for now. Actually really scary. A coot. I love a coot. A buzzard. Insane. Oh look, it's a wren. Yeah.